In our last chapter, Eivor traveled south to Grant Bridge to meet with Soma, the leader of a Viking army there, only to find it scattered after a massive defeat. She told us of attackers yelling about the Order of the Ancients and how they appeared from the middle of the city. Together, Eivor and Soma found her advisors who survived the attack, all three of them. The next day, her army and Eivor confronted Wigman, an alderman who betrayed her and commanded the town that she built up. For all his haughty words, he fled the city and it was soon retaken by the Viking army. After a night of celebration and merriment, Soma woke Eivor up and told him of dire news, that she had dug a tunnel in secret, and that was used in the attack and that only her advisors knew about it. Eivor spent time with every single advisor in their own plans to go after Wigman's army and holdings, he even investigated in and beyond Grant Bridge, finding yellow paint and other clues as to who the traitor was. Once he knew his decision, he returned to Soma and told her that Galland was the traitor. With a broken heart, she slit his throat and had the other two survivors carry him out. Sorrow was replaced by fury as Soma's army gathered together to hunt down Wigmund. The coward was hiding in a church not far from Grant Bridge. While the raid went on, Eivor killed him and sent him to the afterlife. We have now gained their friendship, and Birna has even come to join our raiding crew too. Now today, we're to solve many mysteries and hunt down members of the Order. It's about time to go talk to Ranvi. I'm going to use a flail and a warhammer. Might opt to use a shield later on. It really depends on how I feel about my current combination. And who knows, we might have a new letter in our quarters. I know many people now. We have not been here for very long. I wonder what is going to happen next. I mean, I know I've got to get more allies, but... What about right now? Oh, there's my buddy, Mouse. <laughs> She's adorable. Look hey at there! Her. How are you? Oh, a new letter. Let's check it out. What's in the box, man? From Chill Wolf. Okay. Eivor, I pray this letter finds you well. In my son, Chillbird has written me a few times now. Often and so much to tell, it is as though I am there. He admires you, trusts you, it warms my heart to know he has someone to look up to. I know you will do right by him. As for myself, I have settled nicely in this new role. My court is behind me, and I have the people's loyalty. For the first time in a long time, Mercia is stable. It's all thanks to you, King Chillwolf. Okay, well great. I'm glad to hear it, buddy. Now let's go in here and talk to Randvi once again. Good day. We are allied with the Danes of Granderbridge Shire. Their Jarlskona, Soma, has pledged an oath. Well done, Eivor. These early victories will pay off well. They will. In more than one way, one of Soma's finest fighters, Birna, has pledged her blade to us. She is a powerful fighter and a charming spirit. I think she'll fit in nicely. Glad to have her. Good work. One more job done. We are continuing to grow all of this here. Now it's probably time for a break, I think. Yeah, sure. We should have a party, you know. It's been a long time. We should eat, make merry, drink a little bit. But as usual, we're probably bound for another obstacle somewhere sometime from now. At one time, the title Jarl referred to a man second only to the king. But that use has softened. Now a Jarl may be a chief, a leader, or a man with broad wealth and influence. The world is bigger now, and broken into many pieces. It seems our language must do the same to keep up. <laughs> An interesting thought. Chillbird, your father sent you here to learn, not teach. Then you must start, Eivor. Give us a summary of our recent gains, for instance. The clan is thirsty for knowledge. You want me to give a speech? Right. My friends, hearken to me and hear a tale of triumph and toil. I have traveled far since we landed and seen much on the roads and fields of this new England. And for all my travels, strong alliances have we gained. The honorable Cheowulf, King of Mercia, now calls us friend. And to the south, Soma Yalskona and the Danes of Grandbridge have pledged their oaths to us. By Sigurd's hand and my own, we have strengthened the ties of... You seat yourself as Sigurd's equal in these tales of yours. Would Sigurd do the same if he were here? Oh man, about then. Sigurd knows what I have achieved, and he would celebrate it more roundly than I have. But this takes nothing from you, all of you. 
For I sit among some of the staunchest wills and strongest fighters I have ever known. And so I raise my horn, first to Sigurd, may he return to us soon, and to the Raven Clan, the best of friends and fighters. To Sigurd! To Sigurd! May he return and relieve us of you! And may all of you enjoy the ale as much as Dag has. Skull! You think me drunk, Eivor? Would it soften my blows if I was? Your words are blunt enough, but it would explain your boldness. My eyes are clear and open, and I see before me one eager to claim a piece of Sigurd's glory. Dear man, what is wrong with you? If you're not yet drunk, you should be. This is a feast and a celebration of Sigurd's leadership. Enjoy it. Just as I thought. You're... Attackers from the river! They look to be Danes! Danes? How many? Too many. Now come, the battle roars already. Bloody curs! What quarrel have Danes with us? Those who can fight, take up your weapons. All others stay here. With me! Does this stir your thirst for battle, Randri? It does! Oh, well, good. And I have a few new abilities, too. We need to try them out, I think. I've got one that's going to do some devastating damage, but I've got to learn how to use it. I should probably focus on learning how to use my current weaponry, too. Some new stuff. Ooh, he went bouncing about. Wow. It's quite damaging. And they have no shields, so it's even better for me. Hammer time. Every time. Let's get him. I really don't know who all of you are, but, uh, you're leaving. <laughs> I was having a good time. Mostly, Dag kind of ruined it for me, as usual. Typical Dag. That's okay. I'm here to help out. By bashing a few heads in. A lot like that, yeah. I know we have more to kill, like that guy. Oh, for sure. Hey, leave him alone. Oh, he got me. See, I've got to watch out with that ability. I'll show you what it is later if I remember. Hopefully I shall. Oh, check out those attacks. And the stomp. Yeah, we need to find out who's attacking. Who would dare do that here? Kind of a bad idea, you bunch of idiots. Oh, there's not a lot left anyway. Well, that's good to hear. Enjoy. I mean, it's me. Only me standing. You idiot. Is that the last of them? The rivers are clear. If more were coming, they thought better of it. By their colors and markings, I believe they come from Geatland. But with none left alive to spill their secrets, we may never know why. Here is one. <clears throat> this vermin was crawling to the river, hoping to float away. Uh, uh, have mercy, friend. And you may find an ally with us. Mercy is earned by the quickness of your tongue. Where do you come from and what is your quarrel with us? We are settled in East Anglia. Newly arrived and hungry for silver. You drifted off course. This is Mercia. As we were ordered. By whom? You bore me. Useless hound. Scratching your ass in search of silver. Put an end to this one. Your silence earned you no kindness, Geet. So I'll ask you once more. Who sent you? The wind sent us, and the rivers will take us home. He begs for death, Eivor. Give it to him. Or send him home with a warning. Let him tell his people what death awaits them should they sail this way again. You know what? I'm going to free him. Let him go. Go, and do not return. <sighs> I thank you. This is not mercy. It is death deferred. Whoever sends you warn them of the slaughter that awaits should any return. Oh, what tales 
I will tell. Send one of your scouts to follow him. We will find... Tank! To show mercy would endanger us. Soil our reputation as cowards. This was the only end possible. We could have learned something by tracking him. Now we know nothing. Sigurd would have acted as I did. That is all the justification I need. Sigurd is not here to make such a call, but I am. And if you cross me again, you will know about it. I see you, Eivor. And I know what you are. Put no stock in what Dag says. His bluster may be loud, but it blows softly. Get this cleaned up, and we'll talk of next steps. We're gonna come to blows. I'm getting really tired of him. If we could have had information, then I would know who sent him. He wasn't gonna spill the beans. Okay, I'm up now. Sigurd does need to come back home, though. He's been away for far too long. All right, now I wonder, who am I going to talk to today? There's the young boy. I mean, I do need to pledge to a new area. Why don't we help out by doing a few mysteries locally? It's been a while, you know. We're a little bit north of our village right now. Let's go over our plan on how I'm going to solve a lot of world mysteries around our current zone. So I'm going to solve one right over here. We'll move over to the northeast, to the northwest. Then we'll probably go way out over here to finish one. Then we'll move back over to the west again to finish all the rest. I love these little mysteries because we get to know more about the people and the stories are usually pretty interesting too. All right, so we've got someone to talk to in here. Let's watch out. We've got a lot of vipers to worry about. I got him. Oh, hold on. Now you want eggs. All right, we'll go talk to her. I've been picking up a few viper eggs. Maybe she wants what I have. Say that again? You heard me. I need eggs. Viper eggs. Crusty little shits won't go away. This is my land. I was here first. So, as I said, bring me viper eggs, and I'll make sure they leave and never come back. Provoking snakes is not how I plan to spend my day. But well, that could change. A reward? Yes, I understand your meaning. Bring me the eggs and it will be done. Okay, great. Here you yes. go. Oh, more! More viper eggs! Sure, I've got more. Oh, that's much better. Getting closer now. I can feel it. More eggs! More! Oh, come on. Can I leave? Oh, you're kidding me. I knew I would regret this. <coughs> <laughs> that nearly turned my insides out. Oh, I wish I could see the stir I've caused above. My reward before I choke to death. As we agreed. Well, have you nothing to say after such a forceful breaking of wind? <coughs> it blew me away. <coughs> I never want to come back here again. You stink brew. What a horrible woman. I'm leaving. And I don't believe I'll ever return. That gave me a lot of experience. Hey, great. All right, time for the next mystery. Please, no eggs. No eggs at all. Our next target is not too far from where I'm at right now. They're kind of up in the mountains. I don't know what they're doing way out there, but it can't be good. Either way, though, I want to find out. I'm way too nosy for my own good. All right, so we've got a few more meters to go. It's only a little chapel. Interesting, it's got a padlock as well. Okay, there's a key right over here. That's very convenient for me. They're planning on entering some camp, which means I'll probably do it for them. Fine, fair. Knock, knock, it's me. I will do the talking. Hi there. Don't you know it's forbidden to consort like this under God's roof? Take what you want, heathen. Just leave us be. You must be the abbess here. Why do you hide in a musky old church? We are not hiding. 
We sought to flee the Shire in the midst of this ungodly war. But in our haste to leave, I lost my crozier, fell into the hands of some guards in a camp just below, and I am not leaving without it. Dangerous endeavor for three sisters of the cloth. What is your plan? You going to bore them with Bible passages until they give it back? Do not be afraid or discouraged, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. <laughs> it just may work. Or better yet, I can get your crozier back. You would help us? Mercian soldiers make good practice. And now I'm invested in your plight. Lead the way. Yeah, lead the way. Oh. Alright. I want to take what I can in here. Yeah, I think I'm good. I think I have what I need. Let's go now. How long since you fled the ministry? Must be weeks now. We had no plan and no help. We just knew we had to get out of Lederchester. Whether it is Burgred on the throne or one of yours, makes no difference. Their reign would be less than godly. No offense. None taken. Yeah, it doesn't really bother me. I do like to cause a good ruckus. I wonder how far... Oh, no, it's right here. Wow, that's close. All right. You probably don't want to look at what I'm about to do. It's not going to be divine nor holy. Best not to draw attention here. All right, we've this made is it. The camp. One of them has my crozier. Have I been here before? Most of these guys yeah, are dead. This crozier should be somewhere in this camp. Hey, are you trying to fight them? My man, come after me. Yeah, I'm right here, buddy. Let's kill him real fast. Ooh, what a flurry. He did manage to hit me. Oh, he's got a flail as well. Flail battle? Flail battle. I'm kidding. I'm not interested. <laughs> crozier. I have it. Let's go! Down to the river! Alright, so now we're going down to the river. Though, again... You are unlike you're any sisters I've seen. Bare-fisting armed men like that. I can do all things through him who strengthens me. We Christians take matters into our own hands well enough. I believe you now. You have my respect. I should train them. We are nearly there. Lincolnshire is on the other side. Or your nuns would be a very effective tool to use in my war. <laughs> She's quick, too. Look at her go. wonder if there's going to be more guards or not. I do see another banner, but that's only for their camp nearby. All right. No one close by. Great. Let's go, ladies. The battle nuns are here to save the day. Wolves! Not today, devils. Not today! Oh, right here, right. Okay. I hope they make it. I don't want them to die. There we go. We need to weaken them quickly. I mean, really, I should give them a few weapons. If only they got a few from the camp. Alright? They punched a wolf to death. You know what? Maybe I never want to fight them. Now have seen everything. I know I have. <laughs> that was incredible. Now, flails are great, but for creatures who like to dodge, that can be a problem, I think. I'll have to use my hammer next time, probably. Man, I love my hammer. I hope I find another one. That is far enough. Sisters, gather around. Let us pray to the Lord our God and thank him for watching over us. Um, I was watching over you, but sure. You're cross here. The Lord sent me a shepherd to help lead my flock today. Thank you. You did not have to do what you did. There's truth to that. You would have done fine on your own. I will never look upon sisters of the cloth the same way after today. And I will never look upon heathens the same way. Farewell. Well, thank you. We're all getting along now. <laughs> what a world event. Okay. Now let's find another location to go to. There's one artifact over here. I'm more interested, though, naturally, in a few more world events. Let's go back over here. I'm sticking to one zone at a time, which means I'm going back up into the mountains. Yeah, not a problem. There's no one up here. It's only a bunch of stacked rocks, which I assume I'm going to have to do that here. Interesting. So, go on. Try it yourself. Eivor. Come, stand here and look out over the fjords. Hold my hand. 
There you go. I've never been so high. <laughs> Your father brought me here long ago, when we were just 19 winters. Together we stacked stones into cairns. These? Yes. Think of this as a test of mind and wit. Stack the cairn stones high and wide into any shape you like. How do I win? You win by playing. And a quiet mind is your reward. Let the air and nature's beauty soothe you. What a lovely lady. We're done now. I have done that in real life right by a river. And it is rather relaxing too. Oh, it even gives you a free skill point. Now that was worth it. I've left my little mark. Alright. Another mystery right over here to the northeast. Then we'll come back down to the docks and move over here to the west. Got a lot to hit, but we're moving through them pretty quickly. Okay, here we go. No one's dead. That's a good sign. What do I have to do? Have I lost my touch? Am I cursed? I I just can't get it right. Stupid. You're stupid. A oh, fool! That's what it is. You think you know what you're doing, but you don't. Oh, I know what I need to do now. Uh, smells good. Oh, please. I'm irritated enough already. The last thing I need is someone lying to my face. It is a compliment, Saxon. Take it. What are you brewing, anyway? I call it Leicestershire sauce. That is a mouthful. What is wrong with it? It doesn't come close to meriting such a sizable name. That's what's wrong with it. And I've tried. Lord, have I tried. But I cannot, for the life of me, strike the perfect balance. I should just give up. As I look around, that is hard to argue. You wouldn't happen to be carrying an eel, would you? Not the first thing I grab when I set off for the day, no. I've fished everything in Letterchester but the eel. And you think this elusive river snake could be the answer to your sauce woes? There's only one way to know for sure. All right. If I wrangle one, I shall bring it to you. Yes, please. I must try, if only to rule it out. Thank you. Yeah, sure. We've got water close by, and what I do like about every world event, they tend to be, well, adjacent to your goals. All right. Oh, there's plenty in here. Great. I got one already. <laughs> Look at that. Very simple. I can't believe I'm helping him out. But hey, food is good, and sauce for food is even better. It's all done. Hopefully it all works out for him. I have your eel. Oh, good. Please, add it to the pot. Oh, you want me to do it? Okay, sure. Wrong one. Ah, here it is. Would you be so kind? You want me to taste this? Of course, for your palate is far less tainted than mine. Take a generous amount, too. And? Verdict? Oh, no. Not quite there. Oh, Lord. If it helps, I've had worse. I suppose that's it, then. It's over. Time for me to pack up my things and see what the fruits of another kingdom might offer me. Where will you go? Worcester, I think. Though I'll be buggered if I'm going to name my sauce after that paltry place. <sighs> Thank you for all your help. I don't know many Danes, and I don't care to, but you've helped bring closure to this journey. If I could ask one more favor of you, it would be to take this failure to the grottoes below my home. I can't stand the sight of it. Farewell. Luck be with you. You will need it. That was really funny. Well, if you enjoy that sauce, you can thank Eivor for inventing it. Absolutely incredible. <laughs> okay. Now we're heading back over here. We've only got how many left to go? Only five more. Again, we are just sprinting through these. I'm not complaining. They're fun. Well, here's a very simple one. From what I understand about altars, they just want you to go hunting. Which is logical. I mean, why else would you have an altar? Let's have a look here. A Dane's offering. Something violent afflicts my son. He has not eaten or drank in four days, not slept for his shakes in a night, crying sad tears. 
It is no illness I have seen, thus it must be a curse, one that I fear will bring about the end of his life. To the gods I offer the lifeblood of my horse. I hope an offering such as this will appease them. For only their strength may save my son now. Oh, you poor guy. I wonder what I get for actually giving up an offering. I have no idea, though. Oh, hey. That was interesting. All right. Offering completed. It is done. Let's get out of here. I'm going to call my mount. Oh, it gives me one skill point. Great. I've gotten two now. Plus one here, plus one there. It all adds up quickly. All right. Time for another mystery. Way out to the west. It took me a bit to get up here, and I could have gone around, but sometimes you just need to climb a bit. Whoa. All right, we've got a few guards close by. I don't know how many. Let's move around. Interesting pet you have. One dead. Let's kill that one too. And about your friend. He's dead. I mean, I've got the arrows. I might as well use them, you know? Now, you look a bit different. You know what? I think I want to go challenge him. Let's go do that. I can fight him in melee. Hi there, it's me, your new buddy. Hey, no one will bury you. Are you? I mean, you can try if you want to. I'm kidding, you don't look any different. I just wanted yeah. to grab you. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to toss him right on off. Bye now. Okay, it's over. Now let's find out what we can do here. Let's see. Whoa, hold on. Okay, we've got weird symbols. I wonder, do I need to like line them up? I suppose I do. I mean, they probably just need me to go to a certain location. Yeah, that would do it. Perfect. Standing stones completed. There's a force here. Invisible. That gave me another skill point, too. Yeah, check that out. That's pretty wild. I've been waiting to throw a guy off of a cliff for a very long time. What's even better is that he just kind of fell off towards the very end. Oh, hold on. Here lieth still more remnants of the Nephilim. I have marked a symbol upon the stones. That future folk may imbue their spirit with the energy within. For those who wish to seek communion with the Lord here, be wary, for he speaks through ciphers, and his words are woven with ancient fibers. He is manifest here. He hath made importance of these pillars brought by the giants of yore, now guarding us, as only he knows. Amen. Okay. Well, I got what I came here for. They don't really have a lot of loot, do they? Not really. There's a compass. I mean, I killed most of them. We have another quest right out over there. That's where I'm going to now. Look at that. One of my favorites. I've got to eat shrooms again. Say it ain't so. I'm kidding. I love doing that. Um, excuse me. What are my clues? It's got to be these creatures here. All right. So you're the only one who really moved. I'm going to go through that gate. Maybe you're trying to tell me something. I don't know. Yeah, that worked out. Okay. Now, where are you moving to? To that gate. Okay, I'll go through that one. <laughs> no one is going to believe me. You had to follow the what now? Where? Look, don't question me. Those mushrooms were really good. I think we're nearly done. I just need to follow my little buddy. I'm going to call you silly. All right, he's moving again, which means we're coming right over here. Yeah, there's only one left. Thank you, my friend. One day we'll fight together in battle. That's my dream. <laughs> my shroomy dream, anyway. Before crossing a new threshold to take care, for it is difficult to know what foes lie in wait beyond. 
Is that what you got from it? Okay, Eivor, you're very wise because um, I didn't get that. <laughs> All right. Let's go after another mystery now. We are nearly done here. Only two more mysteries to go. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. Oh, I'll tell all my friends of this fortune. Should need those. I thought you were a cheat, a swindler, but you were right. Lord, light your way. What's going on here? Was that Santa? Huh. What has spurred his little heart? Ah, my soon-to-be highly coveted elixir. You see, one gulp puts you to sleep, and when you wake up, you are suddenly richer. <laughs> I've not heard this ruse before. It sounds like one I know, and I cannot explain how it works, but it does. Take that gentleman's elation as proof. He and many others have returned to me, all with different tales to tell, but all wealthier in the end. Okay, I'll try it. All right, give me the elixir. I don't have any on hand. To brew this elixir involves great risk. You must be certain you are up for the challenge. Won't know until I hear it. Very well. There are two crucial ingredients you must bring me. Bear testicles and fresh lichen. Bear balls? Okay, sure. Where can I find these ingredients? There's a den just west of here where the bears have taken a liking to winter chanterelle. As for the lichen, you can find some growing in the well outside. Be careful. Yeah. It's a scam, but I'm going to try it out anyway. Let's do it. But here's a letter. Ah, okay. I'm going to go on down and pick it up. Down I go. Oh, hey, it's safe here. How about that? Lichen for the alchemist's elixir. Oh, dead people. Maybe not so safe. All right. Let's see. I'm done here. That was it. I've got everything I need. I just need to go find a few bears now. Am I going to get knocked out? Then he's going to take my stuff? Yeah, probably. Oh, I see it from here. Cool. Again, I really do appreciate how, like, every single mystery... Well, what you need is just really right by it. You don't have to wander around. I mean, if you want to wander around, I suppose you've got the more major quest lines. Ooh, I need more arrows. Now, about that bear. Let's get that bear. Oh. That was easy. Okay. Here's what I needed from the bear. That poor bear. I took his bear balls. That feels kind of bad. But hey, if I can have a potion to help me sleep. I mean, why would I need him when I have Volca? I've got someone who has sent me to the realm of the gods. Or at least to converse with them. Let's go back and see if it's really, you know, not a scam. Oh, he's back again. Interesting. Huh. Here, I've brought what you asked for. Very good. Let me get to work. I will have the elixir ready shortly. All right, sure. There we have it. One elixir of miraculous wealth. Enjoy. Uh-oh. If I wake up naked, I'm going to be very mad. Now, where did I wake up? Looks as though this one took the elixir as well. Ended up here, but could not get out. I should return to the alchemist. See if he knows what happened. I think I know where I'm at. I think I found his location whenever I was looking for treasure. It wasn't too difficult. Oh, I'm nowhere close to where I need to be. I'll show you in just a moment. Let's go up. It's a really beautiful view, though. I mean, check it out. That's wonderful. It's just really, really far. Now, I wonder, did he throw me down a hole? See, we're down over here, right by our village. And he's way over here. All right. We need to have a chat. I don't appreciate what he just did to me. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I'm back. Let's have a chat. You, me, and St. Nick. You, alchemist. What happened to me after I drank that piss? How should I know? I told you. I cannot explain how it works. What I can say is the elixir hit you particularly hard. 
You stumbled out of here, then began sprinting across this forest as if you had a nose for something. Very feral. I was worried, but I'm glad to see you are all right. Your wealth has swelled, has it not? In a manner of speaking, I awoke in a cave beside a dead man clutching some treasure. Hmm. I've not heard that outcome before. One of your customers in the same pursuit, I think. Only he was not so lucky. Perhaps I should shelve this elixir for the time being. At least until I can better understand its effects. Good thinking. I can tell you how it works. You lose your mind and begin to run around. That's really it, man. Okay, so we've got one more mystery. I need to look around. Then I should get more skill points again. That's great. Let's have a look. It should be right up over there. Cool. Yeah, I'll go back to Repton. Then look at that. Outside of like a few tattoos and stuff, we're pretty much done here. We've done everything that we can. I'm back in Repton now. Interesting. It's one man on his own right over here by his tent. What are you doing? My warring days are behind me. I've gone from sitting beside a big oak tree with a view of the dogs to sitting here on this lonely aisle with a view of my past. Where does one go from here? Interesting. Yeah, let's chat. That song. You have spent some days in a longship. Oh, many. <laughs> See this salt-blasted hair? The talk of pummeling over the years. All that seawater. Feels like hay now. Better keep away from the horses, then. <laughs> you are very quick. And sturdy, by the looks of you. But you are not from that Ragnarsson camp there in Repton. I would have recognized you. I belong to another clan. What are you doing away from yours? I have been cast out. Too old, too frail. Dead weight, as they say. I will have to get used to watching the sights of war from afar now. No shame in that. Not many of us can say they lived long enough to simply retire. You have earned it. But have I? Or have I missed my chance? I thought I knew what lay ahead, but now that is foreign to me. Embrace it. Sail the seas. Write your songs and bellow out in the winds. Sounds nice to me. You are far too young to speak so wise. There is a bright future for you and your clan. I would like to add to it. Take this key. And if you find yourself in Repton, seek out my quarters near the docks. There is a large tree out front. Inside you will find a few of my most prized items. Take them. I no longer have any need. You honor me. Call it a gift from the old guard to the new. Odin, guide your way, young drinker. Well, thank you. I was actually hoping he would come to join my clan. Oh, well. I should keep an eye out for this old raider's home if ever I am in Repton. Yeah, agreed. All right, let's go up and we'll head into town. So I've got to watch out for a big tree. It's not too large of a town. It shouldn't take me too long. Alright, let's go inside and hopefully find some decent treasure. I mean, having some old experienced raider just kind of singing a few songs sounds good to me. We'd probably raise a bunch of spirits for the people who fight there or who just live there. Oh, look at that. This must be that old raider's place. He said he wanted me to have his things. Okay. Ubo Ragnarsson has banished me from the camp. This comes on the heels of another battle in which I warred far more with my tongue than I did with my axe. It's time to let it lay, he said. He is right. I no longer wish to fight, to raid, to kill. These things have not enlivened my body or my Hyuga for many years now. It may be I only needed to hear from another. For that, I thank the son of Ragnar for bringing to light what I failed to see. What lies before me now, I do not know. This I will sit and ponder. Okay. Now I'm inside. What's over here? A bracelet? Oh. Maybe I should bring that to him. Yeah. Here's a poem. Is that everything? Just about. Alright, I'm gonna have to find a little boat then. 
This crate is filled with songs. Must have taken a long time to write them all out. I should return this crate to the old raider. Yeah, I think so. What a great way to end our final mystery here. At least in the zone that we're in. I mean, it is literally poetic. Alright, there's one that I can take. It's pretty heavy. I wonder if I could jump across, but I don't really know. Alright, let me put it down. Please don't fall. And we're good. Alright, time to take command. These are actually pretty darn quick. But I don't want to ram into the island, or potentially it'll all sink. That wouldn't be good. Alright. I've made it. And thankfully, it didn't completely break. Okay, old man. I have what belongs to you. You gave to me, now again I shall give to you. Done. Is that sufficient? These are some trinkets you left behind, old man. Ah, you've come back. Why are you wasting your time with me? This crate has all of your written songs. This is not a gift I can accept or repay. You will want to revisit these someday. They should stay with you. I had forgotten all about them. Something to work at on this new journey of mine. You have only the setting sun to tell you when to stop. And maybe not even then. That is twice you have earned my admiration. Please, tell me your name. Eivor. Eivor. If the gods will it, I will find my seat at Odin's table before you. And there I will speak of you so that when the time comes to claim your seat, they will greet you by name. Farewell. Thank you. Man, the old guard. I like him a lot. We're finally done here. We've done it all. Let's go talk to Ranvi. After, I might go hunt down one of those zealots. Good My day. power is at over 100 now. I want to see the Alliance map. I know where I want to go. Right over here. They invaded, and I want to find out why. Those Dane invaders. They came from East Anglia, is that right? Yes. Dane invaders who serve a man called Ruid. He seems to be sowing discord among Saxons and friendly Danes alike. Years ago, the sons of Ragnar hoped to pacify the land. They appointed a steward named Finnir to find a suitable Saxon king. But the kingdom has fallen into ruins since, with no king and violent raiders ravaging what little peace remains. I suggest you make for East Anglia and find out what their steward is doing wrong. I do pledge. I'll do it. I've got to get revenge or I need to rectify the situation. King I will make Baker. the trip east then. Speak to this Finia myself. A good plan. It is a good plan, I think. Alright, do I have any new letters in my quarters? If not, we might go zealot hunting. Hey there! How are you? There's my good boy. Well, good girl. Alright, let's go back out. And I could always go raiding as well. It's been a minute. At least one. Alright, so my first zealot I want to kill is going to be right over here. Red Walda. Let's have a look at the order before I move on. Ah, here we go. Redwalda's father was a wealthy lord whom Redwalda murdered in his bed. Not for any inheritance, for the pleasure of it. Oh, a sicko. Okay, I gotcha. Let's get him. Let's go greet our friend. Oh, it's not going to be easy, but I've got to try it out. Enjoy that attack. Whoa! Nice spear, by the way. All right, I'm going to hit his critical points where I'm able to. I don't want to bring in my hound. That just seems mean. Actually, you know what? Forget you. Here's a good old-fashioned Viking hug. I'm going to bring you way over here. I did see some guards. I didn't want them to help out. All right, my stamina is low, but that's okay. Here's a few hits. I'm going to back off again. Come on, pal. Ho-ho. I'm using a dagger and a warhammer. I'm going to bleed him slowly. That shield is unbreakable. It's very, very strong at that. Come on, pal. You're looking at him out of arrows right now. I have some fire damage. It didn't really do much to him. Not at all. 
All right. I got him. Time for another hug. There we go. That's the damage I'm talking about. Oh, he got me that time. Whoa. Good spear toss. Two of them in a row. Three in a row. What's your malfunction, pal? Yeah, look at that. As long as I take my time, I think I can get him. The red attacks, I've got to watch out for. Okay, so he follows up with a standard adrenaline attack. Whoa, what are you throwing at me? Holy crap. Fire damage. I mean, that hit him too, so it worked out. All right, I'm going to change up my bow. I don't usually change it up in the middle of a battle, but I think I've got to. Yeah. I'm going to take my punished bow do that because I might need to shoot those if they're flammable and they are then that shouldn't be too difficult oh shoot I was hoping to hit your leg that blasted spear again all right I got his leg that time 190 damage for a headshot haha <laughs> let's go oh you're so lucky I didn't see your back wait wait Close one. Nearly there. Let's just dodge a lot. Which I love doing anyway. That was a lot of damage. He's nearly dead. He might have some, like, ultimate move that he'll want to use, so... I don't want that to hit me either. Whoa! Not quite ultimate. Let's do it, you big buffoon. Alright, that's one dodge. And here's a big old attack. How's that? Was that fun for you? It was fun for me. Oh, so close. I know, we're just kind of brawling now. Use my rations. What's he going to do? Oh, ho. Not quite through him. Again, he's taking a lot of damage. Dodging out the way. And it's over. Now I feel better. Do I need to confirm my kill? I'll do it, man. That guy, I mean, if that's how they like to fight, they're not easy. Yeah, time to confirm. That's one of so many more I need to take on. I'll probably want fire damage or poison. I served and prayed on the St. Chad at Tamworth. I was a monk. I should have stayed there. Did St. Chad die with his axe in his hand? St. Chad will be revered for avoiding the axe. I wish I had done so myself and not taken a path full of violent honor. The old gods will fade from our sight in time. God forgive me for I have sinned. You killed your father. You're not a noble guy. Alright, one gone. Boy, I've got to get some special forms of damage. I have a feeling fire might be my key. But he was a great fight. He did challenge me a lot. Bye now. All right. Let's have a look over here. Two more skill points for me. I've been changing up my spec whenever I feel like I need to. Right over here is a really good move. Brush with death. Dodging just before an attack lands grants you heightened senses, making others around you appear to move slower for a time. I mean, that's a really good ability. Then over here, counter roll. Dodge towards an enemy's rune attack just before it lands to vault directly behind him, which I did once. All right, I'll choose a few other skills to go after later. But let's have a look now at the codex. No, 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 sorry, the order. All right, beat him already. We got one zealot. Got a lot more to kill. Thankfully, they're not just hunting me down, or that would be incredibly painful. I could take out these two. Hunter. Son of Hunter. <laughs> the Baldrick, huh? All right. It shouldn't be too difficult to find him. Here's one related item. Note from Hytham. From one of Bossom's sources in the Levant, we've learned that a member of the order called the Baldrick is in fact a Norseman of the name Hunter. I gotcha. He's a gregarious drinker from Norway. Fancies himself a bit of a scald. His impromptu poems 
endear him to Norse and Saxon alike, a quality that brought him to the attention of the Order, and he soon joined their ranks. Okay. Recently, he has in fact married into a prosperous Saxon family, whose members hold both military and financial clout. Hunta has begun using this familial power to grant small favors as a means of bringing as many foot soldiers as he can under his influence. All right. Which means I've got to kill him. Let's go find him. Got to do that much. Oh, he's not too far. Good. Time for murder. There's our target right over here. He's not really looking at me. What an unwise choice to make. All right. Let's kill him. Good night. My battle cannings have worn thin. I am no longer the reed among shields, the glimmer blood, the hallowed skull crack, the scourge of swan roads, the iron throng, the lender of silver gelds. I only wish to be a freebooter. Someone who writes their own destiny. Be glad you head to Valhalla with a poem on your lips. It is over now. We should have another clue too, which is great. Alright, don't mind me, I'm leaving. Hunter, son of Hunter, has been killed. I do feel for his wife, but it had to be done. Alright, let's go after another target now. It shouldn't be too difficult to find her. All right, now that I'm here, are they following me? No, we should be fine. Okay, back over to the order. All right, so I've got my clues, but what about you? The scabbard over here. So you facilitate all of the order's clandestine military activity. Do you see that now? All right, so you're near Grant Bridge. So she's able to get weapons and issues orders to select units. She was orphaned by the plague. She grew up as a bandit, and she eventually sought work as a mercenary. The order took notice as she proved herself an adept fighter and soon recruited her to the cause. All right, let's go after her now. Now let's find your exact position. It shouldn't be too far away. Yeah, right over here. And there's another zealot. But again, I'm going to wait until I get like fire damage or something else to help me out. I feel like I need that. We've got a few mysteries too that we could do. I'll think about it. Okay, what's over here? Oh no, you poor man. Over here. Good warrior. How's it going? Hi, stranger. Excuse me. I have a slight pain. Do you notice anything on my head? It's a, an itch or a cut that simply won't go away. It appears to be a, a battle scar. Ah, as I suspected. It must be from my most recent battle. You should see the other man. He got the worst of it. Worse than... I suppose it's possible, yes? If he's headless? My arms are numb from battle. Does it need any dressing? Do you think it is a serious wound? Okay. Maybe I should tell him. Good Drenga. You have an axe in your head. It is grim. I will take it out, but you will surely head off to the next realm soon. Ah. Valhalla it is. I appreciate your candid response. Now I prepare myself for the sights and sounds of the corpse hall. I will relieve you of the pain it gives you. Send you down the Bifrost. It is time. You know, there's okay. a great mead hall nearby. We could go there and reflect on our greatest exploits. Nothing finer than an endless night of drunken glory. Make you forget all of the dishonorable fops in this world. Just scolds and warriors full of mead and story greed. Oh, yes. Let me weave you a hero saga from dirt and spittle. All your enemies have been slain. Now, 
You rejoice. Man, that was brutal. It was funny initially, but then it got dark. Oh well, I did free him. Now to go after her. Oh, I kept it, okay. That's interesting. Yeah, that was worth doing. I do film for him. I'm glad I got to meet him and uh, help him out. All right. So our next target is currently, oh, hold on, hold on. What are you two doing here? Alive. I don't much care for that. There's one. I would love to kill another. Oh, I did miss my opportunity. That's okay. I got him. Okay, you're free now. Thank you, my friend. It is appreciated. That is no problem. I don't think I get anything for that. I have no idea. I've got two skill points. You know what? I'll probably assign them later. For now, though, let's go on our grand hunt. I think what I'll do, I'll probably go find a few more assassin bureaus. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Alright. Our target is right there. Taking them out shouldn't be too difficult, though there's a lot of them for sure. Hi there. How's it going? We should probably fight. All of us here. Alright, a good start. Let's kill him. Definitely him. Whoa. Hold on now. That wasn't very kind at all. I'm coming in again. Pardon me, lady. I had to move her through. Whoa. All right, let's take out the pikeman. Got his foot. What is she doing? All right, he's dead. Let's go after that guy. Nope. You don't get to live. Now for him. Oh, did I already kill her? Nice. That was really nice. Yeah. Confirm kill. It is done. You found me out. I bow to this. But you will not unearth us all. You will not dig deeply enough. We are both a clot and cancer. We sit heavy in water. And yet we spread like a river's current. Are you well? Why would you ask such a question at such a time as this? Beneath your words is something of a size unknown, a mystery. It lurks behind every frail word from your mouth. Wow. That guy groaned too. Another enemy gone. Good. All right, she's been killed. I need to find a few more clues. I've got a bunch all around here, but it's not quite what I need. Not yet. Holy crap, though, did we kill a lot. You just wait until I get them all. Continue the story. Yeah. All right, so now that we're done doing that, I think we're going to take a break here. I'm going to go back probably to my village. And once we're back, we're going to go do the Kingmaker. I want to go to East Anglia. And also... I'll probably find again a few of those bureaus for our dear friend, Hytham. Until then, my friends.